Hi, it's Elizabeth from The Toy Hoarder. Today I'm back with another Minions Rise of Guru toy. So I'm very excited about this. This is the second Minions movie, which still hasn't been released. And it's funny because on the box, it does still say that it's coming in 2020. And at the time of recording, it is now 2021. It is October 2021 and we don't have it yet. I believe it has been moved to the summer of 2022. So hopefully next summer we'll actually get the film. But until then, it's been great because a lot of the stores have been clearancing out all of these toys because people don't want them because they haven't seen the film. I, on the other hand, am a big enough Minions fan and animation fan that <laughs> I need them all. You know what I mean? Anyway, I am a really big fan just kind of in general of fun vehicles, but I really am digging Gru's bike for this set and they have several that have come out. I do have a couple, so I'm definitely doing videos. Do make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss those. <laughs> but yeah, this one is... Illumination presents Minions Rise of Gru movie moments. It's called Pedal Power Gru. And look, guys, look at his bike. It's so cool. I can't, oh man. It also comes with Stuart and young Gru. And I am just so excited about this movie moments playset. I have several of the other ones also on my channel, which you should definitely check out because they're epic. And I will probably be purchasing others and videoing others just in general in the future, so be sure you don't miss that. Okay guys, let's get it open. Oh, wait. Made by Mattel for ages four and up. Forgot to tell you guys that. Alright, I'll show you guys the rest of the box here. Nothing too exciting on the sides, but it does show the bike, the different characters, how they go on and off. Here's some other sets, which... I actually think I've opened both of those sets already for you guys, so those are on my channel if you want to see those. Oh, man. And then it says Minions Rise of Gru on the top, and then the bottom is just, you know, warranty information and stuff. Okay. So it is taped on the sides. I do have a pair of scissors so that I can handle this. Ha ah, ah. So there's a piece of tape across the side. You're going to need to cut that, and then you can pull this whole cardboard tray out. Now you can see everything will pop out of the plastic. We've also got this really nice background in here, which I will show you again up close after I get this out. Am I attached to the backing? Okay, so it looks like I have two rubber bands, one across the body of Stuart and one across the body of Guru. They are rather elastic-y, but do be careful that you don't cut the toy while you're cutting these. So I am going to super carefully cut both of those and now everything should come free from the packaging. Oh, it looks like there was one around his foot that might be around the bike here. I wonder if he's going to stand on his own. Oh, he does! That is so exciting! I mean, not super well and I have to not bump the table, but yeah, okay. Oh, that freed this from the backing too, so. Oh guys, this bike is so cool! Alright, show you the bike in one second. I did promise to show you this. Okay guys, so here is the background that comes with it. It's Gru's neighborhood. It's nice, cute little neighborhood, sweet area, and then he's got his foreboding house and car and bike and everything else. Although, I haven't seen this movie yet, so possibly this house is his mom's house when he's growing up. I don't know, because we have young Gru in this one, not the older Gru, so I'm un unsure on that particular aspect here but guys guys okay i'm going to show you everything up close lots of articulation in here so i will of course show you all of that articulation in just a moment but i want you guys to be able to see all this detail up close he does have lots of different texture in his hair not as much in his coat but he does have some textured pockets and buttons and a little bit of texture in his scarf as well so that's nice. And then, of course, there's this texture where his jacket goes over his shirt, I guess, and then into his pants. There's also textured laces on here. I, I can try to show it, but I don't think that my camera is going to pick it up very well. But it's basically like those combat boots or, you know, the back of a corset. I mean, they are super laced up all across the boots. So that's really fun. All right, guys. His head does turn, so he's got the 360 degree head turn and his scarf seems to kind of move loosely around him a little bit too so you can kind of position that not a whole lot but a small amount there if you would like 
He does have a full ball joint in his shoulder, so up, down, and all the way around here. Then he's got a full ball joint in his elbow, so in, out, all the way around. And sadly, no wrist joint, so I'm not really sure why they didn't do that. It seems about the same width as his elbow, so I feel like they could have, but it's also not a big deal either, I suppose. All right, he does have a full ball joint in the thigh, and then a bending joint in the knee, and sadly, no twistable joint at his shoes, although that is a really, really thin joint where his ankles hit right there but he does actually stand fairly decently, better than I was expecting for how thin his legs are, so yeah. Okay guys, here is Stuart up close. He's got a half-closed eye in here, and of course his little goggles thing, which is super cute. Is it called goggle when he only has one eye? I don't know, you guys. He does have some articulation as well, which I will show you in just a minute. A little grin that's kind of embossed in there. Okay, as far as articulation, I really wish this would spin. I mean, I know that doesn't really make sense, but it would remind me of more of like the telescoping eye thing. That would be really cool if they actually did that in the movies and in the toys. Okay, he has a full 360 degree spin in the waist, just under his overalls right here. And then he's got a full ball joint in each of the shoulders, and he has full spinning joints in the feet here. So they probably will spin 360 degrees if they don't hit each other, so if you can finagle it enough, but they do spin on each of those. So a good amount of articulation still, despite being kind of an awkward anatomy for a figure, for an action figure anyway. Alright guys, here's the part we've all been waiting for, the bike. I don't know if there's an official name for this. The box says pedal power drew, so I... I don't really know. What's interesting is this doesn't actually have, well, maybe it has pedals. Okay, it does actually have pedals. So this is actually a bicycle, not a motorcycle. That's kind of awesome. I'm not really sure what this tray thing in front is, but it looks very menacing and, you know, um, like you would crash into things with it. He's also got this big turbo jet thing in here with a ton of different turbo boosters or something. I don't know, <laughs> that's super cool. He's got this huge back here, which is kind of funny because Guru is really short. Then he's got these wheels that look very interesting. I don't know how to describe the cutouts in here. Almost like somewhere between a lightning bolt and a Christmas tree. And there's three of them cut out in each wheel. With the bigger wheel in the back and a smaller wheel in front. And then he's got all kinds of extra fun details, including rivets and things all throughout the bike. He's got two of these little hand mirrors so he can see behind him. There's headlights in the front. I mean, there's not really a whole lot of color on this. We've got the red seat and then everything else is gray besides the separate wheels, which are black. So very simple design here, but I'm okay with that because I really don't think there'd be a whole lot more color on it. I think he would have probably designed something that was all silver. That being said, I haven't seen the film, of course, because it is not released yet and still won't be released for another year or so. So yeah, but the wheels actually do roll and there is a kickstand in here. Oh, yes! So the kickstand actually does go up, so while you're playing with it, it doesn't get in the way, and then you can put the kickstand down, and the characters, I believe, can sit on it. As far as other articulation, this also spins 360 degrees, and then, of course, the wheels spin, and that's everything on that articulation. But Gru and the minions have holes in the back of them, so when I sit them on this bike here, there's a peg in the back of the seat, whoops, that I can attach him to. And then I can get him to actually hang on to this handlebar because his, uh, his fingers are a little bit rubbery. They don't exactly have a joint, but they're just rubbery enough that they can kind of bend around the handlebars and then scooch back again. And then I can bend his knees here to get his feet on the pedals. Oh my goodness, this is too cute. Okay. Can I get his knee bent enough? Yes! All right. I gotta bend this knee a little bit more. All right, closer. Closer, check it out, guys. Now, Gru is actually sitting on this, and I guess I could put, uh, whoops. 
I could put Stuart, you know, sitting on his head or something. I don't, I don't really know how they're both supposed to ride it. Okay, they show it that Stuart actually just kind of hangs onto the side. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. So some of the other minions that also have grippable hands may be able to do this. So he's just kind of riding along and you can put them anywhere along this extra bar, possibly in these front handlebars. That is so adorable, you guys. It still stays up with both characters riding the bike, which is fantastic. Oh, you know what? I wonder if he can ride in this little... <laughs> he almost fits in this little basket thing up front. I don't really know what this is. If I turn this a little bit, will it... Not quite a little... Well, wait, okay, hold on. He has two pegs on the bottom of his feet, and there's two pegs here, so he might be able to stand just in... Yeah. Alright. Hold on. Okay. The pegs are really tight. It's a little tough to get him on here, but he can actually ride on the front of this, too. How great is that? So you can put a couple of minions just kind of hanging off at crazy places. I love this for imaginative play. It's a really simple toy, probably made of rather cheap materials, but I really just enjoy it. It's got more articulation than you would expect. I love all of these little sections and the rivets and how mechanical it looks, I guess. Um, I am very excited for this movie to come out. I'm also very excited about any of the bike toys that they're releasing because I just love this design. I, I wonder if the top of this is supposed to be a skull up here too. I don't really know you guys, but it almost looks like one of those uh, cartoony sugar type skull things. Anyway, I don't know you guys, but I'm very excited about this. I want to know what you guys thought of it down in the comments below. Again, if anyone wanted to pick it up, it was the Movie Moments Pedal Power Grew by Mattel, made for ages four and up. All right, let me know what you guys thought of this Minions Rise of Gru toy down in the comments below. If you haven't had a chance yet, please do hit that red subscribe button down below and click the thumbs up to leave a like. Then go check out my channel. I've got plenty of other toy reviews, including Minions Rise of Gru, Despicable Me, and of course, several different other topics and even a couple of toy mods and things in there too. And I'm always adding new content, so be sure to keep checking back. All right, until next time, have a great time playing. Bye.